So how did I get an M2 off the showroom floor for under MSRP? For the last two years, I've had a Ford Ranger as my daily driver. And I just decided that the Ford pickup wasn't exactly what I wanted to drive as a daily. So a couple months ago, I started looking around at other options. We looked at uh, an Acura Type S, and I did get to test drive one. Uh, this is a picture of a black one that the dealer had. It's not the one I drove. I drove a white one. I had the opportunity to buy it, but ended up not for a couple of reasons. And then I also considered the opportunity of buying an M3. The local dealer didn't have any in stock. We, te we test drove an M4 and I really liked it. Uh, so we would have ordered an M3 um, and that would have taken probably a year to get the build that I did online for the M3 that I thought looked good that I would like. And then we also looked at the IS500. The local dealer had one and I drove it. Really liked the V8 in that car. The transmission kind of lets that car down a little bit, but it was a nice interior kind of a little retro which I'm a little retro so that was okay too and then we also drove a used uh, 911 that was nine years old that was in the same price range and that was probably my favorite driving car a really fun car to drive just handles like a, a big go-kart and it was a manual which I loved but I wasn't sure that I wanted a manual as my daily when I drive the GT350 also is a manual and we were also a little concerned about maintenance on a nine-year-old Porsche so my wife had a business trip to Cincinnati, and I decided to tag along. And of course, the doggies didn't want us to go. Oh, Daddy, you're not leaving, are you? Dude, you leave. I'm going to eat this chair. So off we go to Cincinnati. My wife's company had, th had events set up for spouses. I was supposed to go go-karting. Well, I just decided that I wanted to do my own thing. And so I canceled my go-karting and went to a movie. And right down the street was the BMW store. Walked in there and met Tim and told him that I had been looking at the M3 and just what do they have um, with their allocations and sound like it was gonna be a long wait with them, but you know what? They had an M2 in stock and it was right here in the showroom and available for sale. And the story behind it being available for sale was kind of interesting because apparently somebody had ordered it, left the country and gone to India. And when the car came in, they couldn't get the person to come back and finalize the deal. And finally, after a point, the sales manager decided to go ahead and put the car up for sale a day or two later when I walked in the door. So the timing of that was just um, lucky for me. The M2 really was, had not been on my radar up until this point. I figured if I was going to get an M car, it would be the M3. Because sometimes we carry dogs around and having the four doors, I thought would be convenient. Plus, I always liked the M3 and, and always wanted one. But this M2 was beautiful. Seeing it in the showroom, it was the exact color that I would have ordered if I was ordering an M2. I love the interior, the interior colors. And so I went ahead and showed these pictures to my wife that evening. And then the next morning we went over and test drove. But after our test drive, my wife and I sat outside with the car for a little bit, looking at it and talking. And since the GT350 is a two-door, uh, very similar, we decided at that moment that we weren't too sure about the M2, if that was really the car we wanted to get, even though we both liked it a lot. Um, my wife even said if she could trade her company car in on it, she would. So we ended up not getting it that day. Over the next few days, we thought about it and talked about it some more and decided that you know it really was the car that we wanted to get. So I got back in touch with Tim at the BMW store. We worked out a deal. So the next week, that's next Saturday, we drove back to Cincinnati, about a four hour drive, and we picked up the car. Um, I'd never walked into a dealership and, and had a car waiting for me with a bow on it before. That was a lot of fun and getting my picture taken with it. And as you can see here is the sticker and you can see the options that it came with. Of course, I didn't get a chance to order it. I had emailed my local dealer and he had said that an order would be about six to 12 months. So I decided, well, this is pretty close to what I would have ordered if I ordered it myself and I don't have to wait a year to get it. So yeah, this is the right car. So we drove the car home. Here I am following my wife in her SUV. She's going a pretty good pace there. I had to drive it pretty good to keep up with her. It was a lot of fun. That was a good trip. And then we finally got home and got her in the stable with the GT350. Here it is parked outside my office a few days later. The dogs were pretty happy we were home too, I think. That's my story, uh, how, how I bought an M2 off the showroom floor for under MSRP. Hey, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. It really does help a lot. You know, I'm just starting this YouTube channel. The more subscribers and the more likes I can get, the better it is. I'm going to keep doing it anyways just because I'm having a good time.
but it does help. Promise more content to come, some driving videos with the new M2, some driving videos with the GT350. We're in East Tennessee. We have a lot of beautiful mountain roads, and I'll be showing some of that as well. So thanks a lot. Appreciate your time.